Now, here's a guy, he has a song that is really storming up the European charts, and even if you only hear it once, it will be in your head all of the time. Captain Hollywood. I gotta tell you, man, the first time I heard this record, it was like, I couldn't get it out of my head. Right. Is this something like you, you, you practice a long time for before, before you make a record like that? This is... Well, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't simple. You know, the, my main thing was the lyrics, trying to get the lyrics for the refrain and everything, because I wanted to make a lot of sense. Uh-huh. Now, uh, the Captain Hollywood project, before that, you used to do more stuff, right? Yeah. 24-7? Uh, yeah, 24-7 was my group, and I did uh -huh. also Mix Master's Grand Piano. Which is one of my uh, favorite dance tracks. Yeah. Great song. Yeah. Now, um, Captain Hollywood isn't the name that's in your passport, right? No way. Uh, the name that's in my passport is Tony Harrison. Tony Harrison. Yes. Now, uh, you live in Germany, right? Yes, I'm living in Germany, uh, but I'm still doing, going uh, pretty often uh, back to New York. Mm, because that's where you, uh, you're officially from. Right. How, how did you end up in Germany? Well, I used to be in the Army, like uh, with some of my uh, homeboys, like Turbo and um, Sidney Youngblood, you know, and uh -huh. I got out back in 81. And, uh, you know, went back home for three days, came back, and after that, I started my career in Germany. Uh-huh. You know Turbo personally? Yes. Tur well, we was in the Army together. We did some touring together. Uh -huh. I know Sydney also, Sydney Youngblood, yeah. Yeah, he's a nice guy. I like mm -hmm. him a lot. Now, um, why did you choose to stay in Germany? Did you feel at home suddenly? or? or? Well, um, I opened up a dance school in Germany, uh -huh. which is called the Hollywood Dance Academy. It's strictly for hip-hop, street jazz, and club dancing. And uh, I think I thought that the European people wanted to learn this type of dancing also, and that's why yeah. I decided to stay. And I, I was pretty successful with uh, my music over here also. Yeah. Do you still practice a lot of dancing or not? Yeah, in my dance school, I'm practicing purely. Yeah. You still have the dance school? Yes. Of course. Oh, where is it? So. This is uh, in, also I, in Nuremberg. Because I'm a, I'm a, like I'm a very clumsy dancer, right? I I like. <laughs> When break dancing was popular, I used to step on my own head. It's like it's right. really a mess. Could you teach a guy like me to dance? Yeah, uh, my my dance school is made especially for people who cannot dance that well, uh -huh. and for people who want to learn how to dance. Right. So you're going to teach me some real funky steps later on, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. Now what I'd like you to do is help me out with a top ten. Okay. You got it right no there. Problem here. Okay, I got it from zero to ten. Captain Hollywood with more and more. I have. Uh, from the number eight to number nine, in a circle with sweat. From number six to number eight, undercover, never let her slip away. I have uh, from number 10 to seven, snap with exterminate. From uh -huh. number seven to number six, Deacon Blue, your town. And on this one, this is a little difficult for me here. Number From number three to number five, Jordy, that's uh, do it, do it, dead three, baby, something right. like that, right? Perfect. And uh, I got from number four to number four, Felix, it will make me crazy. From number five to three, Bon Jovi, Bed of Roses. From number two to two, my favorite song, uh -huh. Charles and Eddie, one of my favorites, Would I Lie to You. From number one to one, Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You. What's your favorite song in that chart? In this chart? Uh-huh. Uh, well, I would have to go for Charles and Eddie for right here, but my favorite group right now is Shy. Okay, now, uh, I didn't really expect you would say number 10. You're, you're like modest, right? Well, you yeah, know. <laughs> Hello. I'm Phil Collins, and you're watching Europe's number one rock show, Countdown. <laughs> 